you want to start with some sugar and some butter over a double boiler. So you've got boiling water in the bottom of the pot and you're cooking in the top, but you're not allowing the water to hit the pot. And I'll explain that to you in a minute. So with the sugar and the butter that I have here, I've got a half a cup of lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice. So I'm going to put that in. That was a cup of sugar plus one tablespoon and about three tablespoons of butter. And now we're adding a half a cup of lemon juice. And you really want to let that dissolve well. I'm going to give it a pinch of salt, not much. And then, this is the critical part as to why you have to have the double boiler. You're going to be adding eggs to this. And here we have four large eggs. And you just want to break them up. I want to break them up a little bit before I add them to the mixture in the pan here because they'll incorporate a whole lot better. And this is going to become the lemon curd. This is all there is to making an, a lemon curd, really. And it's just a little different than a pudding, a lemon pudding, in that a lemon curd has much more lemon juice in it. So there are our eggs, and now you want to just kind of, you know, get it in there, drizzle it in there just a little bit at a time. And you've got to cook this now over this simmering water until this mixture thickens. And if you cooked it over really high water and allowed the water to hit the top, the bottom of the top pan, you could curdle those eggs. And that's a big no-no in a lemon curd. So use a whisk, and you really have to stay with it. So you stay with it, and you whisk, and you whisk until it thickens. And that's going to take, oh, I would say about 15 minutes to do. Seems like a lot of time, but you know what? It's going to be well worth it. Because when it's done, let me show you what that looks like. When it's thick enough, it's going to look like this. You see? See how that just coats my spatula? Now, that's nowhere near ready to use. So what you have to do next is cover that with a piece of buttered wax paper right over the top. Let me take that out. So I cover it with buttered wax paper because you want to make sure that a skin doesn't form on the top. You can do the curd three days ahead of time. It'll thicken up in a couple hours, but if you really wanted to make this ahead of time, do it two or three days ahead of time. That's what it looks like when it's thickened. I'm going to take that right off that paper because I'm going to use that. It's just a very intense, wonderful tasting pudding. You can eat it just the way it is.